Hello, and today I'll be showing you a really useful algorithm that works like this. That's right, uh, this algorithm allows your sprites to move really smoothly around the screen. And, well, the script is really useful when it comes to polishing your project. So, let's get into it. Okay, so first we're going to need our sprite. I'm just going to choose a nice little taco. Here we go, now we have our taco. Now, um, I'm going to show you the algorithm, so follow along. We're gonna need the sign value of the timer and a certain value multiplied together. So for this instance, I'm going to choose something like 300, okay? Uh, now this first value determines the intensity of the motion. Now we're going to take this value and we're going to multiply it again with another value such as um, 20. Okay, now while the first value determined the intensity, the speed in which uh, the sprite travels, uh, the second value will determine the maximum distance in which this sprite can move in. Okay, so I'm just going to show you. Oh, and the way this algorithm works is that as time passes, so as the timer increases, uh, it'll follow this algorithm and the sprite's motion will take place in the form of a sine graph that works like this. So yeah, um, I'm just going to show you how it works. Uh, when green flag is clicked, we're going to repeat, repeat forever. And in this in instance, I'm going to I'm going to use it on our y position. So, if you just put our algorithm in there and pre press green flag, Voila. Yep, our taco is, you know, bobbing up and down. And this looks really nice. So you can use this on your buttons or maybe your collectibles in a platformer or something like that. And the best part is that this algorithm has endless possibilities. For instance, you can use it on directions, but Scratch has the default direction of 90, so if you want to use this properly, you'll probably want to add 90 to this value before putting it in. So it works like this. Yeah, it's really smooth, and you know. And maybe you can use it on the size, set size to 100%, so we're going to add uh, 100 for its default value. So if you just put this over here, yo, would you look at that? The taco's looking nice. So yeah, you can use it on coordinates, directions, sizes, maybe even effects or volumes. Yeah, so I'll recommend you, ex you experiment on your own and find out where you can use it. So yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.